Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETL QA Labs. So guys, this is second session on pandas and uh, today we will look at, uh, uh, so yesterday we had looked at uh, installation and uh, a little bit about uh, uh, the pandas object which were uh, data frame and uh, series, right? And everything in pandas we will work around these two object, right? These are the two major object in uh, data frame. Uh, data uh, sorry in pandas one is data frame and second one is series right so it is very important that we understand about this and now when we will talk about data frame i will say that most of the functions features whatever we are going to use in pandas right everything will be there in the data frame actually right so it's very important that we understand each and every feature around this uh, data frame and uh, so as we looked at what is data frame data frame is nothing but it's a two dimensional array kind of uh, structure which will have the rows in column right and what is series it's multiple uh, rows with a single column so it's kind of very uh, so if you are uh, aware about uh, mm, uh, so i'll tell you it's a tabular structure right so when you say you have the database table right so when you say select star from emp so it will give you uh, you know a combination of rows and columns right that is nothing but you can imagine that as a data frame and when i say select employee name from emp what it will give you it will give you a output like a employee name only one column and multiple uh, rows right so it is only one single column so single column uh, the uh, so in in pandas the uh, if if you are actually fetching the rows and column that is the table select star that is the output that we'll get in the tabular format that is uh, called as data frame i mean just to give you some analogy here guys and uh, if you are actually fetching a single column having multiple values so obviously that is nothing but the series right so that we had looked at uh, yesterday already right now let's uh, continue with that and uh, we will really uh, discuss some very very uh, exciting feature about pandas and some of the attributes some of the methods that uh, we have in uh, data frame right all those things we will look at it guys now uh, so let's uh, focus on this now this is the way we have to write this is the line that we have to write all the time import pandas at pd and then now we will use this reference of pd and we will say read csv and we have to give the csv file name here with full extension and we are actually output of this will be actually stored in the df right that is uh, data frame isn't it if i say like this if i don't store it one second guys uh oh one second so let's say i say pd dot read csv if i run this it will give you here on the, on the here right so it's actually not storing here anywhere right so to store this data this is nothing but data frame right but we have to store in some variable so i will say data frame df okay now whatever output is coming from this particular uh, uh, operation it will be stored in df if i say df now now we have all the values here right so this is the whole set of data that is there in uh, this particular df and this is the data frame now guys now we will see what all the features that we have on this what are the different different methods or attributes that we can actually use to work on this particular data right so right now we don't know uh, i mean it's a huge data okay so we have some data now it's a it's a actually limited data but in reality we, you might be having you know uh, millions of records right in the data frame that we have to store like gvs and gvs files right in that case this is the, the this is the reason where the date the data frame or the pandas will play a very important role right in terms of analyzing the data right and uh, to fetch some extract some information now let's start then guys so now uh, if i want to see how many rows and how many column are there without scrolling through right i would uh, like to see sometime what happens guys here you can see these many columns right but in reality there may be let's say 100 columns so rest of the columns will be hidden you cannot see actually so what is the best thing when you say df then at the end at the bottom i think uh, not here so let's do one thing so there is one attribute right 
this is called attribute guys this is not method right so this is not function this is attribute so when I say df hyphen shape attribute is something like you know um, so two things isn't it in Java if you are aware about Java so what happens guys uh, when I say uh, for example there is a car right and for car what is the attribute its color and uh, color of the car and uh, 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 probably uh, what else uh, uh, I mean uh, any accessories right uh, steering all those can be uh, you know uh, attribute right mileage etc what is uh, the function or method function and method both are same thing guys right so in Java we call uh, method right in C we call function it's the same thing right so what is uh, uh, then what is uh, attribute we came to know now okay it's just a uh, feature and uh, what is uh, at, uh, what is uh, method or function so in Java if you see we call it method and something related to let's say speed right or something uh, not speed I would say it's like uh, uh, in, in car uh, the method can be can be stop isn't it stop is one of the uh, method isn't it because you have to apply the brake then it will start and all those things right so that is how it you can actually correlate it okay hope it is a bit clear I'm trying to just give you some analogy but uh, yeah, I may not be hundred percent you know uh, in line but okay so now let's say I say df dot shape then if I say shift enter it will give you how many rows so this is the row and this is the column guys okay 51 rows and 13 columns are there okay this is how I can get it so this is uh, shape dot shape df dot shape df is data frame dot shape which means the attribute of this particular data frame is we have uh, these many rows and these many columns okay 51 and 13 rows are there uh, 13 uh, 51 one second guys rows and columns sorry about that yeah so it should be rows and columns so how many rows 51 rows and 13 columns okay now how do you distinguish whether this is a attribute or this is a method right so if you have the uh, the, the what you say a parenthesis right the bracket then uh, you know that that is a method right or the function method I would say now let's say for example if I want to know more about what are the columns are there now we can see the columns already here right we can see the columns the other column but I want to know what is the data type of each of these columns and what is other details about this then there is a method called dot df dot info and then you can just give this parenthesis now all right shift enter it is giving you right so here it is giving you 51 entries 0 to 51 this is nothing but rows and columns total 13 columns it is giving you here and uh, it also telling that this is a data frame right so df is data frame that's why it is saying right panda dot code dot frame dot data frame now it is talking about each and every column here and telling what kind of value it is having and what is the data type for example symbol is a object type for example change is a float type right so these are the data types basically d types you can see right and uh, so all the columns each and every columns are storing some uh, short of uh, type of values and that is the data type basically so you if you want to know more about each of the columns then you can get so it is similar to desc describe uh, of the table right if you say in sql then it will give you all the columns and uh, uh, and then the data type and length etc right so all those things you will get it isn't it so this is how it is basically uh, dot info df dot info this is a method right and this is a attribute right now guys uh, we will look uh, really a uh, couple more things now okay I just want to okay I just want to cut it so that I can go back again all right now um, let me run it once okay now we have df now uh, let's say if I, I am not interested to see all let's say we have millions of records I am not interested to see all the records I want to see some let's say 10 records right initial 10 um, basically rows I want to see then there is a method called df dot head okay and then I have to give here 10 
so I, I will get like 10 you can give 10 15 whatever you want so 10 rows are there displayed okay and uh, so from 0 to 9 basically you can see here, right 0 to 9 10 rows including header right now if uh, by default it will display you only five rows okay so zero to four basically so five rows basically okay so index starts from zero that's why it is zero okay now if i want to know that the bottom bottom fifth row so 46 to 50 rows right so these are the rows basically that we can see actually when i say tell by default here also i can give 11 then it will give you last 11 rows right so this is how so this is very similar to head and tail command in linux guys right so if i have covered that if you have looked at my linux so this is very similar to that as well right so hope uh, you are able to uh, you know understand this now guys uh, so this is uh, this data frame is uh, created based on um, csv file right we are actually reading the csv and then uh, on this file we are actually trying to do certain operation now so uh, there is uh, there is another way if uh, uh, there, there there can be some tricky questions right in interview some, some people might ask you how do you convert a dictionary into data frame guys right so is there any way to convert a dictionary so what is dictionary first of all if i have uh, if you have uh, looked at my videos on dictionaries uh, that I have covered in Python, right? So the last video, I think, last to last video when I was covering the Python. So dictionary is nothing but, so we had actually looked at uh, tuple and uh, list and dictionary. There are three different, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, objects, right? Collection objects are, I would say, um, data types, right? So dictionary, when I say dictionary type, right? So I will say, let's say, let me create it. So it's a actually key value pair and dictionary always have a curly braces, right? And now here, let's say, if I say EMP, I will say single quote. I think it doesn't matter, single or double quote. EMP number, okay. Employee number, I'm saying here. And then uh, I want to give, okay. I want to give EMP one, all right this is again one and then uh, first name or I will say name okay and name let's say I say my young and then I say last name uh, okay I will say department I'll say then here I will say IT okay okay guys I don't want to create a big dictionary now I think this is okay so uh, employee number uh, this is one record basically I have given now right so let's try to run it and uh, see what we get in dictionary one second guys something went wrong ah okay to give here separate by comma right okay now when I said dict yes I can see right employee number uh, employee number, EMP, name, my young department IT. Now, if I, I want to actually put uh, two, three employees together, then I have to actually send all these values into list, isn't it, guys? List, we have learned it, right? So, let's say EMP2. I want to just give, okay, two is okay, I think, okay, my young. And then here, if I say, all right, I will say here, Pankaj, here if I say IT, then I say here business, okay, business, all right, now complete, where is that curly bracket guys, I don't see it, let me close it, I think it got removed, let's try, oops, there is, is it still there somewhere? Here, I think I missed it. One second. One second, guys. Okay. So, oh, here, I made mistake. I did not close this. Okay, now it should work. Okay, alright. 
now if I run dictionary then I got employee employee 1 employee 2 my young Pankaj name and department right now but this is in what format this is in a dictionary format isn't it guys now if I need to just convert this dictionary into data frame okay how do I convert it right so we can actually have a tabular kind of view because data frame is al always showing in tabular format right so now if I need to convert this I have to say pd dot okay I will say again df1 let's say I'm just giving now here I'm saying pd pd dot data frame this is a method guys right data frame and then I have to give the dictionary inside pass the dictionary inside this data frame method right now if I say it's all done now if I type df1 then I should be getting that value in that format see employee number employee number employee name department right and it is coming in nice tabular format right so if sometime you have to actually uh, analyze the data which is there in the dictionary you can actually convert into this format and then you can actually perform the operation on so we have we have so many different uh, I think it's a very very powerful library we have so many methods so many attributes that we can use in uh, we can use in Python right and now so this is how you actually you can see guys right you can convert it now uh, now we will see that one more thing okay now let's see if I need to know which all the columns are there okay so you can actually very okay I just want to remove it guys okay Let, let's uh, uh, I want to type just df let's see df is already having it anyways right now let's say okay sorry mm, if I need to get df dot info what did we get we got some column name in having what is the type and other things if I don't want all this information if I only want what are the columns are there because sometime in reality if uh, there are so many columns and I'm only interested to know what are the column names then I, ca I have a method that I can use df dot columns not methods guys it's attribute yeah because I am not using the parenthesis here so df dot columns if I say I'll get all of them here see symbol open high low pretty much same information 30 days change right so here at the end right so pretty much same information I can get it here so this is the way how you can extract only columns if you want right now guys how do we uh, so now we have got this right we have got tail and head and all those things we are able to do it uh, now in the next session I will be uh, showing you how do we actually extract some specific rows and uh, some specific columns right so we already know how to fetch some specific columns basically using uh, df and if I say symbol right symbol and then we will be able to get it okay here but it will give you all the uh, all the rows right but if I want to let's say fetch only fifth row yeah tenth row are uh, between uh, you know 10 to 15 rows and all how we can do all those things right uh, so that we will look at in the next session and uh, that is going to be very interesting right so we are actually just building up how to you know uh, learn these different different methods which are so I am actually uh, teaching you all these methods because that we will be using it little point of time for our ATL testing guys but for now uh, this is very generic everyone should know whoever is working on Python pandas right everyone these, these methods are very much important for everybody to know right so yes so let's wait for next uh, session and uh, I'll see you soon uh, in the next session alright guys thank you thank you for watching God bless you and happy learning bye